Hi guys! Welcome back. Guess what? I've been pretty busy. Things will look slightly different in the end. I also have this trash bin now. We haven't gotten anything from it, but we're still hopeful. The back garden area will see minimal changes. Nothing too crazy. The main focus is going to be the storage area. Here's a quick last look of the before while we get to work. I will forever be thankful for dirt printers and compactors in this game. I quickly got over the whole inventory full of shovels thing. And poof, just like that, it's all dug out. And we're gonna get started on the pathway. I'm just kind of placing tiles down everywhere and we're gonna see what kind of pattern we can come up with. Everybody knows I love to play around with textures. And since I don't use a set plan, Every single design is unique in its own way. Ta-da! Look how amazing that looks. We have the smelting area here, the grinding area, with the other side, the repair station and the charging station. Over to the cooking side, where we get to take care of the brewing, moving on to the building and wood area. I left some room around for other machines and tables, because you never know what you're going to get. I've sorted through the majority of the things that I found and started placing those into the appropriate chests. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put more chests here or if I wanna make like a little water flower scene there. That leads out to the little dock area that I built. Look how cute it is since I added the flowers and the lily pads, all locally grown of course, from the nursery. Now I'll have to make more rowboats, get a jet ski, figure out how to get the bigger boat. It's gonna be a fun time. We'll just hop over this fence here. The bridge takes us to the dog park, but we're gonna go down the path. I wanna show you what it looks like. It's not fully grown yet, but it's super cute, right? And here we have the newest baby. He doesn't have a name yet or a shelter, but we're gonna get him one and a friend because I have another saddle. Our lovely back garden will remain as the beekeeping area. We've added some more bee houses, some more flowers. In this lot, I left some space to add more houses. There's an empty lot just over there. Well, actually two empty lots. There's this one here and the little one that's right over there. For the space around the fountain, I haven't decided if I wanted to make like a little waddle, bottled bush area or like a little campsite. Hi, buddy. He has a house now. I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. It looks amazing. I'd like to thank you for stopping in today to check out my island's progression. Consider leaving a like or a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Have the best day. See you later.